And let's go over a few of these. I'll give you a few seconds to think about these four transactions, and we'll go over it together. Okay, so you see January 1st, you have one transaction happen. January 2nd, you have two of them. January 3rd, we have another one. Try to go over these quickly, a few seconds, and see if you can identify the accounts affected and possibly link this to debit side and credit side. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to think about this. January 1st, this first transaction here is really pretty much exactly the same as what I just covered, the example, except that the dollar amount is different. Okay, so again, the company is raising capital from the public by $29,000, receiving cash, and this at the same time affects the equity account, specifically stockholders equity, a common stock account. So we have cash account affected. We will have an increase in cash, and remember, increase in cash account is an asset account. So we have the debit side increased. So we'll be recording cash first, and again, then common stock. Because whenever we increase common stock, is on the credit side. Okay, dollar amount, $29,000. Description here, issue common stock. Issue stock. The next one here, purchase medical supplies on account for $14,000. So what are the two accounts affected here? You see the term on account, and now the corporation is the party buying things from others. So that on account will represent which account? Exactly. Very good. So we will have supplies being purchased. Supplies is a type of asset. And this will increase supplies value by $14,000. So we'll be debiting this account. At the same time, on account here represents accounts payable because the company is now the party purchasing things but not paying the money immediately at this moment. Okay, so this account here will be affected. On account represents accounts payable instead of accounts receivable because the corporation now is the party purchasing items from others. Okay, so on accounts represents the dollar amount, $14,000, that they are not yet paying by cash. The promise of payment later, typically within a month. Right, so we have medical supplies account affected, accounts payable affected. One is an asset account, one is a liability account. Okay, the asset account increases debit side, liability increases credit side. Description here, purchase supplies on account. Just explain this business activity. The next one here, January 2nd, we have paid, the company paid off monthly office rent of $2,600. So paid something immediately, $26,000, and specifically they're paying for rent. So what are the two accounts affected? 
Want to try? Mm -hmm. Credit cash by $2,600 and debit rent. Rent represents rent expense. Rent expense increase will be recorded on the debit side. So we'll be capturing, thank you, very good. We'll be capturing rent expense on the debit side of the journal entry. Cash, since we're using up our cash now, we're paying off the money, this reduces cash account. We'll be recording this under credit side. The okay, dollar amount for both of these, $2,600. This represents paying office rent on this date. Okay, so we're using up our cash. It's specifically using it for paying rentals. So we have rent expense affected. Rent expense, remember expense account is a special account under equity. So whenever it increases, the nature of this account reduces stockholders' equity. So we'll be recording this under the debit side. And using cash, record this under our credit side, reducing cash account. Okay, moving on. Last one here, we record $8,000 revenue for service rendered to patients on account. So we provided services to customer. It could be any type of service, depends on the business. We recorded $8,000 of service revenue and this service is provided on account. So what does this on account here represent? Mm -hmm. And revenue, $8,000. So which one will be recorded first? Accounts receivable would be debited, so it would, record, it would be recorded first, yes. Fair. So we have this transaction here. Accounts receivable is affected because this is a type of revenue that we're receiving from customer and is a promise from customer to us that they will be paying us later. So it's a cash receipt later on. We'll put this under accounts receivable account. Again, it's a part of asset, so we will be debiting this account. Service revenue, part of equity account. Regular balance for revenue is on the right side, credit side. Credit increase, so we'll be posting $8,000 on the credit side for this. Okay, so we're providing service, we're providing goods to customers, and not yet collecting cash. So this is a type of benefit that we'll be receiving later. Cash received later, it's under asset account, accounts receivable. So accounts receivable increase, we'll be capturing this on the debit side, revenue on the credit side. <coughs> Any questions on these transactions so far? Capturing in journals? Keep these numbers. We'll be posting, using these numbers again to do the exercise of ledger, posting it to T account.